people keep drilling holes in walls around London for a very strange purpose. Michael Birkenwald was drilling holes in walls before it became cool throughout the London area. Some may have found it to be a strange obsession, not understanding the monumental movement behind it. But now that word is spread about the mission behind the extensive drilling project, London residents are joining in, and all because doing so will protect a beloved British icon from danger. Before we begin, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for more amazing videos. Michael Birkenwald used to be a jeweler with an affinity for animals. He noticed that there was an absence in his garden of a particularly pricky friend of the British, the adorable hedgehog. Sadly, the reason was his own doing, as well as the entire British population. The hedgehog is quintessentially British creature, said Anne Whittacombe, a former MP. She's not wrong. A 2013 poll crowned hedgehogs as Britain's national species. But while people were happily voting for their favorite woodland creatures, they were unknowingly contributing to their demise. In the modern age of technology, life has become easier for humans, but harder for animals. It's not just about life-threatening pollution and the looming dangers of global warming. In our haste to make our own lives more convenient, we've accidentally made animals' lives that much harder and more dangerous. And since hedgehogs are nocturnal and move about overnight, they're usually cloaked by darkness. This normally works in their favor, but every once in a while they have to leave their homes in order to find food and to mate. That's when they run into problems. Obviously, a hedgehog won't exactly look both ways before crossing a busy road. Too many times, people have left for work in the morning just to be greeted by a hedgehog tragedy in the street. People usually witness this and move on, but not Michael. I'm just an average guy who decided to help one of our most adorable mammals, Michael Birkenwald claims. He may see himself as an average guy with a cool side project, but his organization, Barnes Hedgehogs, has been drastically changing the lives of hedgehogs for the better with one simple trick. Since the new millennium began, the hedgehog population has gone down by roughly one-third in urban areas alone. That's roughly one million. Michael had no background in zoology, but he did have something that he thought could help the little creatures a diamond-tipped drill. Nowadays, there's a huge movement of gardeners across the country, with many still maintaining natural grassy backyards, the perfect habitat for the hedgehog. The problem is to reach the backyard, hedgehogs have to go through some non-hedgehog-friendly areas beforehand. That's where Michael and his drill comes in. Since these grassy areas were blocked by dangerous roadways, Michael had to come up with a way for the hedgehogs to safely cross the street. The trouble was he had to figure out a way to do so without impeding drivers. That's when he came up with this inventive idea. Michael started by asking his neighbor if he could drill through their backyard gate. Drilling through the old Victorian brick was slow, difficult work, but he knew how important those CD-sized holes would be. He just hoped his other neighbors would be willing to drill holes as well. With their cooperation, Michael was able to create something truly extraordinary, a series of man-made shortcuts for the hedgehogs. He went the extra mile by creating signs for the mini walkway and dubbing them Hedgehog Highways. The problem was not everyone wanted to drill into their gate. Some people don't only really have cosmetic worries when it comes to drilling holes in their fences and gates. Some people worry that their home pets will wriggle through the hole and run away. Others are concerned that animals who don't exactly have a hedgehog's heart-melting cuteness will use the tunnels as well. It's true that homeowners take a certain risk by allowing their yards to be a safe refuge for hedgehogs. By stocking their yards with piles of wood, leaves, and logs, a hedgehog's ideal habitat, there's a chance that they may not only attract hedgehogs but unwanted vermin as well. But there's also the worry that people will get so excited about helping hedgehogs that they'll end up domesticating them. According to Emily Wilson, a volunteer from Hedgehog Streets, it's important to remember that hedgehogs, as cute as they may be, are capable of taking care of themselves. Wilson also advises hedgehog enthusiasts against one common mistake. When creating a hedgehog safe haven in your yard, do so by making piles of leaves and logs and by allowing your hedges to get a little overgrown. You can even put out cat food if you don't mind attracting other critters as well. Just don't, experts warn, put out milk. Hedgehogs are lactose intolerant. Despite the minor pushback from some people, the response to the hedgehog highways has been positive. Emily Wilson says that campaigning for hedgehog tunnels really isn't a difficult sell. Everyone seems to love hedgehogs. It's a really, really easy ask. It's even more meaningful to Michael. In a recent interview, Michael pleaded with his local community to do their part. Hedgehogs need our help to survive. So please, let's do something about it, he implored. In addition to proceeding with caution while driving at night, he also asked neighbors to join in with one more part of the hedgehog saving movement. 
Through the group Hedgehog Street, the British Hedgehog Preservation Society BHPS, teamed up with the People's Trust for Endangered Species PTES, to make an interactive map marking the hedgehog population and where these hedgehog holes can be found. Even with these efforts, the danger of extinction still looms over the wild animals. It was only back in July of 2020 that the BHPS released an article announcing that the British hedgehog was growing even closer to extinction. Although this wasn't surprising news, we've been at the heart of research that's charted the demise of the nation's favorite animal, they said. They also saw it as an opportunity. What people do on behalf of the hedgehog is amazing. The holes made in fences, the feeding, the hedgehog houses, the wildlife-friendly planting, the removal of hazards all make such a difference locally," the BHPS said. But even with these amazing efforts, the hedgehog still might not survive, not without the help from the largest organization in the country. BHPS CEO Faye Vass confessed that nothing much will change unless the British government steps in to enforce wildlife-friendly practices, from farming to development to transport. Though our hedgehog friends' chances are improving with every little highway, we need more people like Michael, Emily, and Faye, and not just in Britain. Woodland creatures are facing extinction everywhere, not just in rural Britain. It took a hedgehog crisis to wake the British up to the plight of their favorite furry friends, but it was another crisis altogether that motivated one man in a totally different country to get creative. Rich Kalinowski never considered himself a kooky inventor until he found himself unemployed and stuck at home. Determined not to have idle hands and to make a few much-needed bucks, he headed into the garage with a million-dollar idea inspired by a quick glance at the critters in his backyard. 